In this video, I'm gonna give you the framework for creating the perfect podcast show notes. All right, let's hop over into the computer and take a look at the perfect podcast show note framework and how you can start implementing it for your podcast now. All right, now we are in Simplecast. Simplecast is the host that we use for 98% of our clients. We have one client that's on Libsyn. Everybody else is on Simplecast. Absolutely love it. Uh, if you want to check them out, there'll be a link down in the description section below. I think you get two months free if you use that link. Um, anyway, kind of diving into it here. So this is one of our clients built to grow. I'm going to take a look at one of their episodes. We'll look at the most recently released episode here. So I'm going to go into edit mode just so we can take a look at the show notes better. So in most hosts, you're going to have two sections and you do here as well. You have a summary section, which actually Spotify used to use this, but I don't think anyone is using it now. I would recommend that you still put it in here uh, just in case, but I don't think anyone is using it right now. Um, and this is the episode notes, aka show notes. And this is what we want to focus on right here. So for show notes, we recommend that you have between 50 and 120 words is the length of the actual summary body. And if we copy this and we paste it in a uh, character counter tool, so we can see this here is 220 words. So a little bit on the high end of that, but it really depends on the length of your episodes and things like that. So this is our summary section. We've got it here broken down into four paragraphs. Basically, you're just going to describe the episode, what it's about, why someone should listen. That's the purpose of the summary here. Then we have our key takeaways. This is the next main section. We recommend between four and eight bullet points here with the timestamp so that people can find the section of this podcast episode that most interests them. So you can see we space it out every few minutes here when a big valid point is made. Under the key takeaways, key points, we have the additional resources. So here's where you're going to want to mention everything that was covered in this episode. It could be software, links, events, books, whatever it is, you want to put these here. And I would probably recommend that you do not use hyperlinks, that you use the full link. Uh, we, have a, we have one link here that is not a hyperlink, and I'll show you how this actually looks in the podcast apps in a bit and why I might recommend that you use full links and not hyperlinks. So this is the next section. This is really important because when you're going through your episode and you're talking or you're interviewing somebody, you can always reference down to your show notes. Hey, go check out his book. Hey, go check out my social media below. Hey, if you want to check out this software, click down below into the show notes. You can do things like that. And then here we have what's more of a template section. So all of our podcasts have a what we call show notes template section as well. It's the same for every single episode. It has the same links here. So um, these are just various call to actions that they have. Watch it on YouTube, download the book connect with both of the host. Those are the main sections, the summary, 50 to 200 words, the key points, key takeaways, four to eight bullet points, your additional resources, which is anything that was discussed in this episode, and then any templatized information that you want to provide to your listeners about your website, social media channels, books, whatever it might be. So those are the basic sections of podcast show notes. And now let's hop over to the phone and take a look at how do these show notes that we just reviewed look on various podcast apps? So I'm going to grab my phone here. Let's go ahead and just dive in. So, all right, so this is the same episode that we just looked at over in Simplecast. So let's hop in and let's see how it looks on Spotify. So I'm going to go ahead and break it to you. Spotify is going through some serious growing pain since they're trying to get into the podcast space. And the show notes are absolutely horrible. So you'll see here that there is a zero formatting in this. So I'll actually, um, we can go take a look at our show notes here, right? You see how we have nice formatting. Uh, we have bullet points. We have bolded sections. You get none of that over here in the uh, Spotify app. You can see here's our timestamps. Here's all of our links. But it's just a big jumbled mess. Here's where I was saying it's better to have the full length versus the hyperlinks because here in Spotify, some of these are links and you cannot click them because they're not clickable, but you can click the full link. So that's how it looks over in Spotify. So let's go take a look at another app. 
Uh, let's take a look at Stitcher. All right, same episode. Here, Stitcher is also a mess. They use the same formatting as Spotify. So, But here, you can't even click the full links in Stitcher. Only thing you can click on is the timestamp. So Stitcher is pretty much oh, actually worse than Spotify because you can't click the links. Now, let's take a look at CastBox. All right, same episode. Here, we have some formatting. That's good to see, right? All right, so we've got held all of our formatting, held our key takeaways. We have the timestamps. All of our links are clickable. This is what it should look like. Everything is here nice and pretty. So this is CastBox. So this is how your show notes could look in CastBox. The next one that we have that we can dive into is Google Podcast. All right, here's our episode. So we can see Google Podcast also holds the formatting, which is awesome. Uh, they do not give us clickable timestamps, but they do give us clickable links, irregardless of if it is a hyperlink or a full link. So Google Podcasts, not quite as good as CastBox because you do not have the clickable timestamps, but overall it holds the formatting. So let's take a look at what else we have here. We have Podcast Attic. Podcast Attic looks like it also holds the formatting, gives us the clickable timestamps, all the links, hyperlinks and non-hyperlinks. So very good, looks awesome. Holds all of our formatting, gives us everything that we need here. So you can see there's actually a big difference in how your show notes are presented across all the different platforms, which is just good to know. There's nothing you can really do about it. You cannot control which app your listeners use, but it is just good to know that it could be presented in different ways on various platforms and how that might affect how you format things. So what I will say is that in the future, I know Spotify will get on it and they will format their show notes just like the other apps are doing. Things will come around. At the end of the day, it's a very fragmented ecosystem that podcasting has, but it will all eventually come together. So I would still use these best practices that I just shared here with our summary, key points, links, and our show notes templates at the bottom. So if you found this video valuable, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to keep getting awesome videos on like this, how you can grow your podcast and reach more people, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Click the red button, followed by that little notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video of Podcast School.